Hi, I'm Amy Shannon, and I'm going to show you how to create clean links um, from places like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Goodreads. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Amazon. And there is a difference between uh, books that were published through the uh, KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing and books that were um, that are listed but were per uh, published by another source. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up the browser window and I'm going to go to Amazon.com. Um, as examples, I'm going to use my books because I know exactly which ones were published um, through Amazon and ones that were published through another source. So I'm going to type in my name, Amy Shannon. And the first book that pops up is my final chapter. Now this book was published by Amazon. Um, in uh, paperback, Kindle, and hardcover. So the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to check out the Kindle version. Now, because I did a search, I'm going to click on Kindle because I found the one I wanted. And up here, if we notice, the link is really long. I mean, that is like so long. So I'm going to select that entire link. And you can double click on it. You can um, put your cursor up there. Sometimes it'll select it. Um, you can go to your browser, click in once, and then do a control A on your keyboard, and it will select all. And then we're going to copy it. So go, I'm going to just go to copy. And then this I'm going to use as a visual aid. So the first one, this one is Kindle, um, and it was published through Amazon. So I am going to paste the link. And what we want to look at here is characters that should that aren't part of um, you know a link, uh, a true link. So basically, any backslash, um, dots or periods, um, even little dashes and dashes or m dashes. I don't know which one is which and any other strange characters. Now, we see here that um, if we look at all the characters that are in this, there's a backslash, and then there's no more backslashes. So um, in this case, on Amazon, a lot of times they have what is an REF, a reference, um, after the backslash. And this reference, basically, it tells well, the people who wrote the code, and some of us can see yeah, it's got my name. We did a search for my name, and then we clicked on something, and it brought us here. So we use keywords to find it. But if we wanted to share this link with our friends, our, our um, you know, people who might want to review our book or buy our book, we don't need to give them this entire link. We want to give them just the true link. So we find REF or a, a character that is not a backslash or the last backslash there is. And we are going to select all of that to the end. And then we're gonna delete it. Now normally I would just press the delete button on my keyboard, but just to show I'm doing everything so that um, it is visual. Now I'm going to make sure that I was correct. And I'm gonna copy, select the link, I'm gonna copy it. I'm going to go back to this, but I'm going to start over. So I click on the Amazon Prime. It'll go to its home page for me because it's my account. So then I'm going to click in the address bar and I am going to paste and go. Basically, it's like hitting enter after you put in the link. So this went right to my Kindle book. And one thing Amazon does is if you published through Amazon, you, uh, the, the book, excuse me, I keep saying you, the book is um, given an ASIN number right here. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's a, a Kindle book. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a paperback or a hardcover. Amazon notice hardcovers. Um, they're given an ASIN number. And if 
ASIN number, which is specific for Amazon. It is not to be confused with the ISBN numbers, the international standard uh, book number. Um, and that can be um, uh, either 10 or 13 digits. Um, many times now, sometimes it has both, but many times it's just a 13 digit number. So um, this book, it has an ASIN number. And I'm just going to copy it. I selected it. I'm going to copy that number, go back to our visual, and I'm going to paste it. And if we see here, the last number, um, the last set of numbers um, for the link, well, it's got letters in there too, is the ASIN number. So now I'm going to show you what it does if the book is um, a, a paperback, um, also published by Amazon. So I'm going to go to um, back to start over, Amy Shannon. And then I'm going to go to the paperback book, of the same version of the book that we were just looking at. And we have this whole huge link here. So I'm going to copy this link. And then I'm going to paste it back into here. And the first thing I'm going to look for is the final backslash. And then I see the reference. So we, we remember from before that we take that off and we delete it. Then we have this clean link. And then we're going to copy this. Go back. And let's going to bring us back to the home page to start over. You don't have to keep going to the home page to start over. I just want to show the difference between the two. We're entering a link rather than doing a search on Amazon. Um, and then I'm going to paste and go. And it will bring me to the paperback. So I pub publish this book on um, this particular one on Amazon. And it has an ASIN number. And it has an ISBN number because all print and hardcover, anything that's printed, uh, paperback, hardcover, mass paperback, each of those particular types have a different ISBN number. Now this one, um, because it has an ASIN number, um, it when they registered it, um, it only needed to be an ISBN 13 number. There are two types of ISBN numbers, which is the international standard book number. Um, some are dash 10, some are dash 13. Originally they started out with just 10 digits and they didn't know if they would have enough. So they added um, extra digits, three extra digits. So um, here is our ISBN number, but because it's an Amazon published number, and if we look right here, and then we look in the bar, we can see right there that the, ASBI, the ASIN number is the same. So if it's a, um, an Amazon published book, it will um, be listed, the link will be listed by their ASIN number. Now I'm gonna um, go back to um, the beginning, I'm going to do a search for Amy Shannon. But this time, I'm going to go to one of my books that um, was not, um, the paperback was not published on Amazon. So here's Unwritten Life. So we're going to click on that. And then, of course, Kin it was published through Kindle, so that is it will have an ASIN number. Um, if we look up here, um, we can see the ref reference and everything after that, the um, V00G8KDSLO. Uh, um, and then if we scroll down to the product details, it's right here. So, but the paperback was uh, published by uh, CreateSpace and CreateSpace 
was a thing. So um, now I clicked on the paperback and I'm going to copy this, select it all and copy the paperback. And I'm going to go back to here under Amazon non-published and I'm going to paste. Now we're going to look for the dashes, the um, backslashes, and this still, Amazon has a reference point um, after the final backslash. So we're going to remove that uh, just by uh, copying it or selecting it and deleting it. And then we're going to copy this link again. Go back to Amazon and we're going to have a clean slate again, and we're going to paste it and go. And it will bring us back to this paperback. Now, if we scroll down, now, because it was created by CreateSpace or could be any other publisher, um, it probably will have an ASIN 10 and, or ISBN 10 and an ISBN 13. Um, the, the, the identification number for this book is the ISBN-10. So it will take this number instead of this one and add it here. So it's the same thing. It's, you know, we're stopping after, um, this particular link and it goes right there. Now there are other websites and they have different references. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to uh, re refresh this and I'm gonna go um, to Barnes and Noble. In the search, I think I have a few books on Barnes & Noble. I'm going to search for my name. And yeah, there are other people with my name. So I'm going to just select the first book that we came upon. Um, and this is one of my books. You know, this is the one we already uh, looked at on Amazon. So we're going to look on this one. So if we um, click on the link, it'll go right to the uh, to the um the book, if we click on uh, my name, it would go to where, a list of all my books, but we, we did a search on Amy Shannon. Um, anyway, so we're gonna click on Unwritten Life Path to Destiny. And if we look at the link for Barnes and Noble, now we're gonna um, copy this, um, you know, it's got a lot of stuff up here. Um, and let me go to where I have Barnes and Noble. Now, Barnes and Noble is a bit different. Now, the final, um, in Amazon, we were looking for that final backslash. In Barnes and Noble, um, they don't have a backslash. They, um, and they don't have a reference like the other ones did, but question marks, um, equal signs are not part of a clean link. So we go to barnesandnoble.com, the uh, title of the book with dashes, and we go to the first, um, well, it's the question mark, uh, it's a character that's not used in um, URLs. So anything after the question mark or, or the right before the question mark, including the question mark and to the end, we are going to delete that information. Now we have a clean link, but we're going to make sure. So we're going to copy this again. And then we're going to go. I'm going to go to my home page and then I'm going to paste and go that link. And it brings us right back here. And it's got an identification number, 
um, it gives us some information, um, the identification number uh, for Barnes and Noble um, is its own identification number. Um, if we looked at uh, the path that we were in previously, um, the search would have had contained part of this ISBN number. Um, but uh, it, uh, Barnes and Noble does not use that. So you just want to um, look for uh, either references or um, characters like question marks that are not normally included in a link. And to show you one more um, example, um, I'm going to go to Goodreads. Um, it's a site where books can be listed and then it has links to where you can buy them. So um, I'm going to open up a browser. Oh, this one's fine. And then I'm going to type in goodreads.com. And it's here on my page, but I'm going to do a search. It's on my Amy's Bookshelf Review page. So I'm going to do a search for my book, Amy Shannon. And I'm going to select a different book this time. I'm going to select Chains. So we did a search. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to select the link and copy it and then we're going to come back here and we're going to paste it and the copy and pasting that i'm doing you could actually um only select part of the particular link so i'm going to see what goodreads has looking through all their thing um their whole link and like barnes and noble they didn't have a, a final backslash they have um they have a number, then they have a dash, and then they have the title of the book, and then there's a question mark here. So we know that question marks and equal signs and ampersands and all um, different characters in this particular um, item do not belong in links. They are not really part of a link, just a reference point. So if we select from the question mark all the way to the end, and then we delete, then we have a clean link to this particular book. So then we're going to copy this just to test out the theory. And I'm going to another browser window and I am going to paste and go. And it will bring us right back to this and it's a clean link. So, um, and it doesn't matter because I did from one account to another account. This is my Amy Shannon account. The other one I did a search on was my uh, Amy's Bookshelf Review account. Um, and those are how you make clean links. If you um, have any questions or want to know about other links, um, how to keep them clean, um, this basically it helps shorten them. Um, I mean, there are other sites where you can make them shorter, but uh, this way, these um, those sessions, um, the sessions aren't copied, just the actual links. Um, when you go and you do your session, basically it's you putting in your information in your site and then you're copying that URL very long and it's a document, it's basically a documentation of your session. So when you share your links with other people, it's like a repeat of that. It's not their own, unless they just, they don't use the link or they just know how to use a clean link. So this has been Amy Shannon. And if you have any questions, you can email me at writeramyshannon at gmail.com. Thank you.